Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do to prepare my wool before I cut it out is to pre-treat it and or pre-shrink it, basically. But with this wool jacket, I am not going to throw it in the washer and the dryer. I will dry clean it. So therefore, I can either take this to the cleaners and have them run through the cleaning system first, but I probably won't do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to steam it. And by steaming it, you get a little bit of that shrinkage that's going to occur. Plus, I'm going to be working with this wool as I make my jacket, which means I'm going to be manipulating it and try to form it and with steam and with the iron. And so I'm going to, I want to go ahead and get some of that shrinkage out right now. So what I have here is my wool, and it's 100% wool. And um, But be thinking about your jacket, if it's the kind of fabric that you would put it in the washer. Um, if it is the kind that you are going to dry clean, then you would probably do what I'm doing here. So I've got my fabric, and it's folded in half. And now I have to decide which side I want to be the fashion side, the side that you will, on the outside of the jacket, and I decided that I wanted the inside. You can see a little bit more of the twill pattern. This is a serge, but I'm also noticing as I do this that I'm finding a few imperfections here that I want to make sure I don't cut out and put on my jacket. So after I finish steaming this, I'm going to come back now that I know they're there, and there's a little discoloration here, and I'm just going to put a few pins there so when I cut it out, I cut around that. Okay, so to pre-shrink it, you have to be careful <clears throat> because I don't want to do too much on the wool. Um, but what I'm going to do is steam it. So I'm going to take my iron. And this is a really good steam iron. And with this iron, it will steam. Steam will come out whether I hold it um, horizontally or vertically. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put down the silk organza just in case any water drips or anything. And I'm just going to come along. And I get some water here, so I don't. I'm not sure why. It's on the wool setting, but I'm going to turn it up just a little bit um, to make it a little bit hotter, so it won't do that. And see, I'm already getting some water in here, so I'm kind of getting that off. And I'm going to wait a second. But so with the press cloth, I can go a little bit hotter. So you want to hold it about an inch away, and you just want to get some steam going. right now the other thing I could this is the wrong side so I could also put the iron down so hold it about an inch away and if you want to at that point you can put a little bit of contact there a little bit of heat well you've got the heat steam but you want to be careful so okay so there's that one that looks good so now I'm going to go over and do the next section one thing about having the organza, silk organza, is that silk organza can take more heat than wool. And, but it's, as you can see, you can kind of see through it. And I think that's going good. So by having this here, it kind of helps me to know how much I've done. And you need to let it cool. Um, some of your wool fabrics are going to shrink more than others. I just made a jacket out of wool crepe, and I noticed that I lost maybe a quarter inch in the length of the jacket just from steaming it and ironing it. This is a twill weave, so it's a little bit stronger, so I don't think I'm going to lose as much but I still want to get any, a little bit of the shrinkage out so that when I work with it, it'll already be treated. Okay, so looks good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this whole side and then I'm going to turn it around to the other wrong side and I am going to do the same here. And see, it was on this side that I saw a few of the little um, flaws. And so that tells me to come back and kind of be careful on that. Ooh. 
we have some great steam irons in the labs. So that works out great. So anyway, that's all you do to prepare your wool for pre-shrinking.